hello traders it's samurai trade here welcome to this session session 83 how to day trade in the market the $1,000 a day challenge if you're a young gun and $1,000 a day is not enough for you simply increase the amount of contracts that you're trading but let's not forget the money management rules what I cover in these sessions you can apply to whether you trade futures Forex or stocks in today's session I'm actually going to be going through three trades I took with a one-on-one -on -one client where we were trading live so it's only trading one contract however there's some great lessons behind these three out of three trades as always I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and if you haven't already requested my ebook or even the Excel spreadsheets that you'll see when I get to them in a couple of minutes please click on the description links below to obtain those at no cost make sure you also subscribe to my channel and even better still become a member traders everything I show you here all of my indicators there's over 30 what is it? I don't know 37 38 powerpoints hundreds of hours of recordings uh, you can get all of that for $197 you find the link below and I have a special going where you can also attend eight of my live coaching sessions they are recorded if you can't come uh, live you can type in questions when you're there or you can send me the questions to cover in the sessions uh, I include those uh, in the $197 after month one if you choose to drop me an email then you can continue to attend for $97 a month I've got professional traders have been attending for what close to seven years now so uh, uh, once again come and join and you'll see why they keep attending so a game changer I know I show this in every session why because it changes lives unfortunately so much material out there is is really angled towards traders making a fortune getting in and out and getting rich quick that's just not the reality I have a quote get rich slowly now with $1,000 a day or 5,000 a week be a life changer for you for 98% of a population it would be how do we do that trade 10 contracts only $100 a day each I'm going to show you how to do that today you'll see step by step how I do it now as you step up with experience you may increase to 300 a day now if you're say trading the 8 tick Renko or a much higher time frame uh, let's say on oil during New York hours six to seven hundred dollars a day per contract for an experienced trader is the reality however get in get out get paid but this is the reality of the money you can realistically earn now if you saw my last session I think what is this session 83 I've just forgotten here for a moment yes 82 I think I was going through uh, 500 a day on one contract here I got over right uh, in eight minutes over 300 so this is a reality now here in this session we're trading the six tick so the market was moving fairly fast so I stepped up the uh, time frame I was trading just makes it easy to trade now I know some will say you can't trade the six tick during New York that's right you'd probably need the eight to 12 tick so which is the right time frame that you trade whichever is tradable now also as I show you here you can apply this to uh, any type of chart time-based charts tick uh, uh, range it really doesn't matter now this is what makes me successful is that I have this attitude that I'm just looking for patterns because that's all I'm looking for it's nothing more than a pattern solving exercise and the same geometric patterns we see every day day in day out and I love the quote out of Mark Douglas's book the disciplined trader in becoming an expert at one market behavior to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one this is to quote him obviously preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical so you'd be working with a visual representation of market behavior 
so that's what I do I'm just looking for patterns I'm looking for uh, bounces off support resistance levels which are automatically plotted on my chart so it removes the discretion from it if you like I'm looking for EMA bounces and anyway you're going to see these uh, in a moment so eight minutes of trading uh, that was 382 uh, in eight minutes traders now why is that relevant and by the way just to show you the chart here you'll see this in a moment anyway for members watching this I had a classic 2b which is also a t20-1 there's our t20 I know look you could classify that one trade this is a t20-1 uh, this one here in a little bit late you had another entry just there had a beautiful t3 and I then added to this position when I had the t10 you had a t10 here as well and away we went oh and that was a t10 and a bet the farm more on that when we get to it now if the y is big enough the how becomes easy in other words if you've got lofty goals if you've got a compelling future if not create a compelling future because what day trading means to you is financial freedom now let's just say here that you're um, uh, a little shaky or you're a brand new trader or perhaps you've blown your trading account three or four times in the past or whatever the chain the, the issue may be you can get going trading with as little as three or four hundred dollars starting on the micro now on the six tick to stay within our two percent risk rule that is we never ever ever risk more than two percent in a trade you would ideally need six hundred dollars okay now if you don't have six hundred if you got four hundred you can start on the four tick but ideally four to six ticks is where you want to start and you'll see those charts in a moment here going for just thirty dollars a day and this is how you do it forget the get rich quick scheme okay think of six to twelve months financial freedom potentially the rest of your life so you start off just thirty dollars a day within 12 weeks you're up to nearly six seven thousand dollars now we roll over to the big contract now how this table works you start off with 600 you go for thirty dollars a day and every time you double your money or you get another 600 you start adding the contracts but only you're using the market's money so only when you have another six hundred dollars then we roll over to the big contract okay you see the micros are ten percent of the big contract okay so once we roll over to the big contract we're then trading uh, in targeting three hundred dollars a day and as you'll see is very realistic uh, in the time frames that I use and the setups they're very high probability uh, low risk as you're about to see in 11 weeks trading exactly the same way that is we rolled over we're using the markets money every time we build up another six thousand we start trading an additional contract never ever risking more than two percent some of the rubbish out there and misleading information shows that you know you get there in a number of weeks it's just not true here you're building both confidence and competence now the bottom line is how many trades a day would you need to take for that well typically uh, you're going to be looking at between three and four trades a day to achieve this target between three and four and it all depends I call them steps as you'll see so after Commission so you'll see that when we get there and as you gain experience of course you can target a much higher rate you can go for realistically if you go back and watch all of my videos now there's dozens of them you'll see typically two to three hundred dollars I'm achieving within 20 to 30 minutes usually and that's on the uh, four tick I don't always trade the six stick I prefer the four my target a thousand a day or two hundred dollars a contract uh, that is my target go and watch some of my videos now what this the bottom line is here you started off with the micro six hundred dollars we went for thirty dollars a day in 12 weeks our account is there I'm going to say potentially because you've got to follow the rules and when I say 12 weeks that's once you start live trading do not even consider live trading for your first four to eight weeks 
master for setups. And this is where wax on, wax off at a karate kid. You know, wax on, wax off. You've got to master the setups. And as you'll see, they're all patterns. But unfortunately, traders jump in. Why? Because usually because of greed and a whole lot of other reasons. So what it really comes down to is that within 12 weeks, we're now trading a big contract. 11 weeks later, we've now got a $10,000 a week income, potential income, get in trouble with the CFTC if I say anything else. Our account size is 54000 Where will you be in 23 weeks from the time you go live? This is the true potential, doing it the right way. Now, initially, if you're a brand new trader, it can be a bit like um, uh, drinking out of a fire hose and that is why you attend the coaching sessions yes I've got all the videos there but you can type in or email in the questions my job is to make it as easy as possible and how you do that is by starting off with only a couple of setups first we call it the Goldilocks rule okay not too hard not too easy just right if you're an experienced trader you can probably realistically kick off with three or four of my trend following strategies you're a brand new trader maybe one maybe two but you've got to approach it that way and there's only one way to learn how to day trade it's the right way the first time so we're about to get to the charts so the real question is now how do you get there what are the setups that we're going to be using now these are absolutely critical that you build these into your trading and the great thing is traders unlike years gone by now we have indicators that plot all of these levels for us there's no second guessing where are they they, they, they plot their predictive indicators and the reason are uh, they're predictive so many traders trade them now I know we're going to have traders here oh the 89 EMA and 200 they're not predictive oh yes they are because price bounces off them and price trades into them every day why they become a self-fulfilling prophecy all of these levels the prior days open high low and close your intraday swing highs and lows the current days high and low because so many of us professionals we will trade into these and if we have divergence or if we have what we call a t3 which actually I think we've got one here uh, we'll trade for t3 or we'll trade divergence off these levels and kick butt so let's go to the charts and have a look at these so let me actually minimize this it's probably going to be easier so what I'm going to do trade is I'm going to go from the right hand side now see this some um, uh, lime color up the top there that's the current day's high of this session so on this day and you will see we go up there and we hit the highs day in day out now once you understand how to trade and when to buy or sell into the lows or buy into the highs becomes very very powerful so there's just a classic example by coincidence the high of day what have I got here this is a 200 EMA one of your or really two of your most powerful EMAs are going to be your 89 and 200 especially on your anchor charts your higher time frame so let's just kick off from here and I'll read it from the right hand side and tell you exactly what you're looking for first of all I've got a bounce here a 200 EMA bounce now the white paint bar is my super scalper we're not going to enter this trade until one tick above the third candle now our target is between five and seven steps now I call these steps now on this particular time frame this is a six tick Renko it means from the low to the high of the, they're actually bricks that so Renko that's what it means bricks I just call them candles from the low to the high uh, that's $30 but each step is worth $15 okay now remember our target here is is uh, $300 a day so we get in up here five steps is $75 so uh, let's just see how we go so one two three four five six not quite seven sevens ideal oh and by the way 
break even for me is always five unless I've got a major area of support or resistance in front of a trade like say just here if I'd have taken this trade just here I know that we've got the high up above why because this line is projecting across so if we bought into the high and we're quite close to it once we're in the green in the money we get to break even and cover our commissions now what excuse me what break even means is you get your entry price and add on this time frame I usually add three ticks okay which is fifteen dollars so there we get to break even now we've pulled back got an entry now we're pulling back again and what's going to happen here now just there okay now I've got another super scalper entry uh, for members watching this you can see we've got a bet the farm just there we're in it again so let's just see how we go here so one two three whoops remember I break evens up till five three four five whoops not even five five six seven eight nine now note there we're well by the way I'm well and truly out of that trade that is too far away uh, for me to set a target the other thing is too we have a setup it's called the t28 uh, also known as the pivot magnet trade it's a good 90% trade what you've got to have, <coughs> sorry I've got a bad throat excuse me one sec I picked something up from the kids <laughs> never mind all right back under this coughing away here so I'm pulling back uh, now I've got what we call a 2b uh, and here's going to be the good example uh, a 2b is where I've got a, what we call a double bounce notice here I've got a higher high then a higher low uh, also call that a t20-1 for existing members watching look we could have even called that a t20-1 if you wanted to there here's your t20 uh, so either there or there now my entry is way up here and I actually got in a wee bit late on this one see how we got the high up above so what I want to do as I get to that high and probably would it be it might have even been just there no maybe there I would have got to break I think it would have been there I would have got to break even because I'm still in the trade so you get to break even so that was still for yeah so there it would have been around about this point okay now my stop loss is one tick below here by the way so I never trade my stops here come back down and we could bounce again and see that high over there so here we could bounce so I want to get to break even so if I do bounce now my commissions are covered and I'm out of there with seven steps one two three four five six yeah that was seven step move just there now I've well and truly broken uh, above the high of day now I want you to notice this here this is what we call angulation see our price action is angling very strongly away <clears throat> whenever we get this uh, you get it on every chart every time frame four or five times a day maybe even more depending uh, on what time frame you're trading uh, it quite often will lead to a fantastic reversal why it becomes what we call a reversion to the mean by the way that's a pattern these are 200 B's these are all patterns they repeat day in day out just like this t3 we see it every day now there are rules to it but they're mechanical rules on when you take the entry so as we're coming up look at that angle okay now my entry we've got set rules on the entry we would be in uh, just below here and there you are just below there okay so this is an extremely high probability trade provided the market isn't absolutely flying and what I mean by that if there's a news announcement I don't want to take a t3 because it might rally up then pull back and then continue straight away so I'll take just about every t3 if I don't have um, uh, news so I'm in that trade there now for members watching this I want you to watch what happens here there you had a t10 you had another t10 there as well as t25s but watch what happens here <clears throat> we come down I then get a bounce and I now 
increase my position why I've now got a t10 as well a kaching trade okay now where am I going to take this what's in front of a trade traders with every trade we have we always say to ourselves what's in front of us do I have a pivot in front of a trade do I have a high of day uh, do I have an open high low or close do I have a 200 or an 89 EMA so that's very very important now here for this one I'm targeting my 89 EMA but I sort of expect usually a bounce somewhere in this region which it, it bounced fairly quickly which means I wouldn't have even been at break even but my exit and I think I actually did it on this one here I target the 89 EMA every time well that's not quite true 99 90% 90 of the time okay I target the 89 EMA why it's so predictive now I know quite often we will punch through but you know what I am trader I'm a scalper I prefer to get in get out get paid so down we come and there we go right at the 89 EMA I'm out now we then keep coming down now for members watching this you know what we expect now there it is right there a bounce now with the first uh, and for new members or potential members watching this or even for the general public when we first have a retracement back to a 200 EMA that's sort of your riskiest trade why because quite often you'll come back to a 200 and you'll get a reversal so what we want to do is wait for a secondary entry and we call it a bet the farm so we're coming up and coming back down again so we wouldn't have taken this one and what about this short well no because if we sold just here we'd be selling straight into a 200 EMA like over here you could have sold that if we had a valid entry uh, and let me tell you if we had an entry by the way this is just a, a little tool I'll use not not for me it's not so I don't have an entry there but if we did we'd be selling down into the 200 expecting a bounce which is exactly what happened so over here yes we broke the 89 and some traders will say well why didn't you why don't you trail I'm a scalper I prefer to get in get out that suits me but yes you can trail if you wish and you had three minutes to trial that remember each step per contract is fifteen dollars so now we don't want to sell this because we'd be selling straight in of a 200 now I've got a bet the farm so members watching this you've got a t10 or well actually it's almost another candle look you could classify it as a t10 but there's your bet the farm so you've got a beautiful bet the farm trade but you're not out of trouble and the reason you're not out of trouble is this what's directly in front of this what's in front of us right now is all these EMAs once you look over here see how we quite often bounce amongst these EMAs we call this spaghetti see this here this is called the fanning of the EMAs now this can always be some of your really trickiest areas while you're waiting for a fan in traders so but now we've got to bet the farm however we could get a bounce but bet the farms are a pretty good probability trade I'm still in it I'm getting a bit worried actually <laughs> on this one I can't remember what happened after this now let me just remind everyone where's my entry one tick above my third candle where's my stop loss uh, now sometimes it's a fourth candle why I might be waiting for the anchor chart one candle to close very simple concept but it really keeps you on the right side trading in the direction of the higher time frame also if it's fast sometimes we may not get the ideal entry but I do want to have my stop one tick below that well and truly keeps me whoops sorry about that well and truly keeps me in the trade uh, you've got another entry just here if you were out of that now one two three four uh, you know what I'd still be in that trade I'd still be in it because of the bet the farm if you were out of that now you've got another entry okay so what are we after seven steps ideally uh, if you entity one two three four five six seven yep you're out of it now what about this one 
now by the way as you can see I didn't take these but just to point this out existing members t20-1 there or even here okay you've got a slingshot you could look I'd be using the super scalper quite frankly you'd be in there one two three whoops uh, that was two three four five not quite six and if you didn't get to break even as I mentioned our break even is five steps anyway okay you would have been stopped out of that trade now eventually okay you get another bounce uh, one more lesson before we finish up here I think I mentioned this whenever you have a deep retracement back to your 89 look for a second entry that is quite often your bounce will lead to either a reversal your first one or a deeper pullback now just here members watching this you know what this is again I've got another bet the farm so I'm after my seven steps where now let's just say we got in now where's my stop go one tick below so one whoops not we're still in it we're still in it getting a bit hairy a bit worried there now that was over five minutes so back to uh, break even one two three four five six seven now do we target and this is where we've got to regularly pull our charts down like this to check what we want to be checking where's the high where's our pivots uh, see down here this was the current days open and the prior days close all of these will act as support resistance levels and there we actually just there we just miss the um, the high of day now is that I can see I've got a red candle so are we going to go up there and hit it no we don't just go another minute and we'll just see where this goes this is what we call the fanning so another nice little winner so remember when you get a deep retracement back to a 200 which can quite often lead to a reversal if you're going to take the trend continuation trade what's supporting that trade the bet the farm that's what you should be looking for now I've got a fanning of the EMAs just here you know what I'm looking for I'm going to look for a trade either 34b or right back to here and this might be the test of a high so as we're coming back now see the white paint bar what you would initially see there is a green candle and that's what we call the get set okay now you wouldn't be in till uh, now or about now somewhere in this vicinity so one we're after seven steps one two three four five six make sure you want to make sure we lock in you'd already be at break even but I'm not going to give that back I'm going to lock in seven sorry five full steps uh, no I'm not I'm going to change my mind there I'm on the on the go here one two three four no I'm only going to lock four steps in and the reason I'm locking in only four allow a little bit of wriggle room as you hit support resistance areas and we go straight through so there we go so another winning trade all you need traders if we go back to actually if I pull this chart up it's easier all I need is three trades a day net how do I do that or four six step trades or three seven two B's that are uh, off your anchor charts 21s 34s 55s 89s this is the true potential of day trading on 300 a day look where you are in nine weeks okay it doesn't take long to get there once you learn how to master the yard once you learn the setups I should say oh, I was just reading this at the same time now what this means is I can risk up to $120 a trade usually it's only going to be around a 20 tick stop not 24 ticks so you could get away with $5,000 however allowing that little bit of a buffer there okay allows you to get in a little bit later wait for the anchor chart one candle to close when needed I know that may, may sound like gobbledygook 
to um, uh, traders that don't know the strategies but it will make logic sense once you want once you see how the setups work fully so three trades so how do we get that one two uh, three uh, that was only a five move just there I'd say you would have been out of that one of course I romped it in over here so you're after and initially one more thing before we finish up only trade with the trend I've been doing this for 28 years now so I'm very good at the angulation trades and the reversals things like this but you get a ton of trend trades each and every day okay so you focus on trading with the trend and from there you can move on okay like just there you've got uh, we come back here what do we got there another move just there okay uh, I'd be getting worried about this now this is getting heady uh, you've got there I'll just be waiting for this here see many waves you've had up after you've had three or four waves quite often we'll head for a reversal uh, so now we've got a beautiful little double top here by the way we've got some great divergence what's it look like on the anchor chart ah ha, ha, ha. look at that whoops where was that just want to get back to that because traders that was really relevant that I show you this we're nearly there I think have we whizzed past that maybe we have uh, look I think we've gone to actually let me pause this I've got to show you this okay got the page back so here it is just here traders see that there you've got a double top and divergence just said we call that a 2d a 2d when you've got a 2d we expect a bounce off the 89 EMA now we actually call this traders a 2bd when you have a retracement here right back to the 89 and the reason being we put the D after it after you've got a double divergent setup because these can be a more dangerous or a, or a more dangerous trade and the reason being they can quite often lead to a reversal okay so double top double divergence so quite often I won't take these but I'll wait for a secondary uh, entry now there with that one two three four five now that was mighty fine anyway I want to wait and see if I get look you've got a t10 there look you've got uh, just there now if you had have taken the t10 members watching this you would have been stopped on that one what have we got there but now we've got actually uh, that is as good as a bet the farm as well and there you go so you had a nice uh, that would have been a loss by the way if we had have taken that and I've got to tell you I probably would have taken that trade just there okay I probably would have taken that one uh, all of these are all walk in the parks once you get to your double tops beware so I don't think I would have taken this one this one I would have and I got would have been stopped on that one and then I would have taken this one nice pickup thank you very much so traders look it truly it's not rocket science it's just a matter of learning the rules-based strategies look it's 90 percent 95 percent rules-based where the five percent comes in is you've got to identify um, uh, do I have a trend and am I at a support resistance level so that's sort of a key area so am I buying into support resistance and those support resistance levels uh, are those where are they just here again just want to bring those up are these levels your pivots your prior days open high low and close now all of these can be plotted or in even your intraday swings now using the swing ray indicator or even the, the uh, swing indicator will show you where your major swing lows and highs are you can sell and buy into all of these um, uh, trades day in day out so come and join me uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel but 197 all of my indicators get a month of live coaching with me that is it's in a group there's usually around 100 members there um, and if you decide after one month to continue which I'm <laughs> a very high percentage of traders do you can drop me an email then it's only $97 a month thereafter thank you traders and I'll see you in the next video. And by the way, I love day trading. Cheers, everyone.